What's up guys, it's Poyo Forge and Films and today we're gonna teach you guys how to make a whole music video with just one lens. So recently we just shot a music video with just one lens and we're gonna talk about the advantages and disadvantages and all the tips and tricks that you need to shoot your own music video with just one lens. Alright, so the first thing we're going to talk about is knowing the limitations and advantages of the lens you are deciding to use for your music video. Hoya and I decided to use the Sigma 30mm f1.4 and the reason why we chose this lens is because it sees very very closely to what the human eye sees in reality which gave us the ability to look at things in our set and film it exactly the way we saw it. So that gave us a lot of creative flexibility to do things in real time and make changes on the go. Now, the, one of the best things about the Sigma f1.4 lens is that because it has such a great depth of field, we were able to get in close to our subject and add depth of field to add this cool cinematic look, which is something we planned beforehand. So that is one of the reasons why we chose the Sigma 30 millimeter f1.4. You also need to know the limitations of your lens. This lens doesn't shoot very wide. It shoots at a very, very narrow angle. In our music video, we had a, a shot of all of our dancers and our talent in the middle. For us to get that shot, we had to back up all the way, all the way, all the way back, basically to the wall of the studio we were shooting in. And this needs to be taken into consideration because if you're in a confined space and you're not able Able to back all the way out you're not going to be able to do those establishing shots or those wide angle shots that maybe you planned in your head but are holding you back when you get on set because you didn't take that into consideration when using the lens one of the great things which is shooting with one lens is that you get to save a lot of money you don't have to go out and rent a lens you're just using that one lens and I know as a beginner filmmaker it's extremely hard to get a lot of money so choosing that lens is gonna be extremely important. With that being said, you gotta choose a lens that works for you. So as a videographer, go out there and research and find one lens that you guys really like and make that your main lens. But do a lot of research and find out what's the best for you. The next thing we're gonna talk about is understanding your camera and utilizing the full toolkit inside of your camera to achieve the look you wanna get. For example, Poi and I shoot with the Sony a6300 and something a lot of videographers don't know using the Sony is that you can do something called clear image zoom which basically zooms in to your subject whatever you see on your screen without losing any resolution basically you can turn a 35 millimeter lens or a 30 millimeter lens to a 70 or 60 millimeter lens and still keep that same resolution and the f-stop stays the same so you're not losing any exposure in your shots with that being said you also need to know frame rates and how each frame rate translates in post-production. For example, a lot of our air roll was shot in 4K at 24 frames per second, and what that allows us to do is basically zoom in and zoom out to specific spots in the composition without losing any resolution. On the flip hand, for any of our B-roll shots or any shots that we really wanted to just emphasize on, we shot in 120 frames per second in 1080p to ensure that all of our shots were smooth and buttery and just super sexy and that's exactly what we were going for. So utilizing the settings in your camera is extremely significant to getting that final product that you envisioned in your head. And lastly, the last tip that will lead you guys to success is experience. You guys need to go out there and start utilizing your lens with everything you can and just practice, practice, practice. And eventually, you guys will become a pro. See you next time. Estoy enamorado, me nace la cinturita que esta noche acabo Con el mismo cuerpo que me tiene esclavo Van a escuchar tus gritos de Milán a cabo Si hay otro en tu vida o se acabó el caso Escápate conmigo pa' otra no hay plazo